down through the years. The Lord has been right, good to me. Oh, down through the years. The Lord's been good to me. Down through the years. The Lord's been good to me. Oh, the Lord. So we certainly do praise God and give him thanks for all of his goodness and his mercy that he has shown toward us. And as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, we want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. And let us remember that our, our, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Sometimes we don't see a whole lot of progress and we want to get slack in our prayers sometimes because of that. But realize and understand that your prayers avail with God. Amen. And your prayers mean something to the Lord because he told you to ask. He told you to seek. He told you to knock. And in that process are the ways to move God. So we want to ask God to touch those that need to be touched. Uh, remember Sister Shakara in a special way and the Lord touch her body. Um, and also remember uh, the members here at Christian Ministries and the body of Christ everywhere, the members of all churches, amen, that the Lord will bless in a, in a special way and bless our Bible study. Uh, that something be said or done to inspire us, to encourage our hearts, amen, that we'll be washed by his word and cleansed in our spirit and our soul and our body, that we'll feel the better when we leave, amen. Whether or not he cuts us, I'm sure he'll heal us. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's good like that. Amen. He won't leave you bleeding. Amen. So uh, let us stand and go before the Lord. And let us remember uh, those that are in our virtual land, uh, that are tuning in with us. Amen. You are not forgotten. Let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we certainly do thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your power, your goodness, and your grace. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that is here on today. Bless each and every request and even on every unspoken request in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, that your anointing fill us, that your anointing rest, rule, and abide with us. 
Bless every child that is under the sound of my voice. Bless every adult that's under the sound of my voice, Lord. We pray that you lead and guide in the name of Jesus. That you strengthen our hearts and our spirit. Remember each and every request. Heal those that are sick and afflicted. Heal those that are going through in their mind and their spirit and their soul and their body. Even those that are going through in their finances, Lord. We pray for a financial blessing. That you'll show up in a mighty way. Hallelujah. We pray in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you grant the door of our hands. Uh, let this word be rich. Let it be filled with power and grace. Hallelujah. Let it heal us and deliver us. Hey, glory. Let it give us strength in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and praise you. Give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. As you're going to your seats, thank you, Lord. I want you to turn with me uh, to a very familiar passage of Scripture, Isaiah chapter number 9. Isaiah chapter number 9. Amen. Isaiah chapter number 9. And um, we want to talk today about, you know, the given the season and the reason uh, of this particular time. And it's always a good time to focus on Jesus. It's always a good time to turn our hearts unto the Lord. And as we're looking at Isaiah chapter number 9, and our subject title today is a child is born, a son is given. Amen. Our subject title today is a child is born, a son is given. And um, as we begin to look at this particular chapter, chapter number nine, um, just to give you some background information because I always believe in background information um, uh, to the people so that we can uh, see where the scriptures are going. It helps us to understand the wording of the word of God and uh, where the Lord is leading. And in this particular book, the book of Isaiah, as you know, the children of Israel, had, uh, the people were brought under God's judgment because of their naughty ways, because they rejected God. And any time an individual rejects God, they, their, their way won't be easy. The Bible says the way of a transgressor is hard. Uh, but the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but, and he shall deliver the righteous out of every evil way. And the important thing for us to remember about God is God, he's a God of people, He's a God of individuals, and he's also a God of nations. And when God judges nations, not everybody in the nation is unrighteous, but uh, a great number of people that are in a nation are unrighteous. And sometimes when uh, God judges the unrighteous, the righteous feel the effects. Uh, but with God, because he's just and he's fair, uh, he, won't, he won't turn his back on the righteous. He will give them a special blessing. He will uh, make up for that which uh, the, the, they are going through because they are getting caught up in the whirlwind of the unrighteous. And sometimes if, if the righteous don't really realize that, they can think that they're doing something wrong. They can think that, Lord, my God, I, I, I see the wicked. You know, you're getting them, but why you got to get me too? <laughs> and that's like uh, the parents when they're trying to get their children and they're all in a bunch. And the ones that, that even did nothing wrong, just because they're in the vicinity, they get it too. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, but God, uh, he, he always turns his heart. He turns his heart back to the righteous. So, so God, he never forsakes them that trust in him, them, them that put their confidence in him. And Israel, uh, as a nation, at this point in the scriptures, 
they've done some wicked things and they have blamed God for their circumstance and their situation. They don't take responsibility for their own actions. It's, it's bad to, to, to do bad things, but then blame your behavior on other people. Blame your consequence on other people. And that's what they were doing. They were blaming their consequences on other people. And I don't want to get caught up in that too much. But, but, but they also, if you were to read chapter number 8, but we're not going to go there. At the end of chapter number 8, they became so, so corrupt that they were uh, 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 seeking the dead for advice. You know, it's a bad thing when you neglect God and seek the dead for advice. Uh, the Bible tells us, don't walk in the way of the ungodly. Amen. Don't stand in the way of sinners. No, don't sit in the seat of the scornful. But allow your delight, your happiness, and your joy to come from where? The law of the Lord. And in God's law, we ought to meditate day and night. Hallelujah. So as we begin to uh, look at uh, these particular scriptures, it's, it's, it's tonight uh, in chapter number nine, God is turning his heart, even though the children of Israel did wicked in his sight. God is turning his heart toward hope. Amen. God is always a God of hope. Even in a bad situation, God will give you hope. Even in a dead situation, God will give you hope. There's always hope in God. No matter how low you get, there's still can you can look up and, and call on the name of the Lord. No matter what situation you're in, you can still call on the name of the Lord. And having said that, I want to say this before we get into the scriptures, is that this is a season of hope. When I say a season of hope, I'm not talking about just this time frame. I'm talking about this dispensation of grace. Uh, because the, Jesus Christ has come on the scene. And he didn't come on the scene to condemn us. He came on the scene that we might have life. Amen. And have it more abundantly. So this isn't the time of judgment. Amen. This is a time of salvation. It's a time of deliverance. That's why it doesn't matter what an individual does, there's still room at the cross. It doesn't matter what an individual has, has been. If they turn and look unto the Lord and call on him, if they call on the name of the Lord, they still can be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. So as we're looking then in uh, Isaiah chapter number 9 and uh, verse number 1. It says, nevertheless, nevertheless, uh, the dims uh, shall not be such as was in her vexation. Uh, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Nephtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in, Gal in Galilee of the nations. And that verse there, number nine, is just simply saying that uh, when you're looking at uh, the nations of, of Zebulun and Nephtali, they were two nations of the northern kingdom of God. And, and God, uh, because of their wickedness, God allowed the Assyrians to attack them. And uh, uh, God is saying that, that he was literally going to turn his heart back to them. And this is what this particular prophecy is about. It's about God turning his heart back to them. Because uh, the people still were in a bad situation, but they had a great reason to rejoice. And their great reason to rejoice is because God is getting ready to prophesy unto them that they were, he was going to send a savior. He was going to send a deliverer. And that's why they needed to rejoice. This, this, this prophecy here in the book of Isaiah chapter number nine is a perfect hope. It gives them a perfect hope. Why is it a perfect hope? Because Jesus is going to come on the scene. Because Jesus is going to deliver. Amen? 
So we see here then uh, verse uh, number two. And it says, the people uh, that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them the light have shined. And this particular verse here is talking uh, about the, the people that walked in darkness. And notice how it's, how it's, how it's saying, even though the fulfillment of this, prescript, this scripture hasn't happened yet, notice how it's written. The people that walked in darkness. Amen. It, it, it tells them that, that this is already done. And that's how we got to look at the word of God. And when God tells us, we got to look at it as already done. Uh, that we're already more than conquerors. That we can do all things uh, through Christ that strengthens us. We got to look at what God has done as already done. And that's what's giving them hope. Now notice what it says. He says the people that walked in darkness. And that darkness there is a spiritual darkness. Anytime people are walking in sin, they're walking in spiritual darkness. They're walking in spiritual darkness. And to walk in spiritual darkness is a horrible thing. Amen? The Bible tells us that we have all have sinned uh, and come short of the glory of God. And they were walking in spiritual darkness. But notice, they that walked in spiritual darkness have seen what? A great light. Amen? And that great light there is a reference to Jesus Christ. John, the, John, the person that wrote the, the book of John, the Apostle John, he said that Jesus came into the world as a light. Amen? And he came in as a light to lighten every man, to give everybody light. Now, this light here uh, represents a spiritual revelation, a spiritual understanding. And that's what Jesus comes to do for us. He gives us a spiritual uh, revelation and a spiritual understanding. He literally uh, 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 turns us from darkness, which is a uh, 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 spiritual, uh, 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 without spiritual understanding and without spiritual knowledge, he turns us from that to uh, a spiritual awareness, a uh, spiritual understanding. Now notice what he says. He says, and they that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the where? Yeah. The shadow of death upon them, the what? Have the light shine. The light shine. And that, that shadow of death there represents a, a spiritual separation from God. Uh, death is a separation. Amen? Death is a separation. People that die, they get separated from their body. They get separated from their spirit. They get separated from their soul. People that enter into life, life is a joining together. When people receive life, they receive their body. They receive their spirit. They receive their soul. Amen? So, so what Jesus, uh, what the Bible is saying here is, is that they that sit in darkness are in a state of death. A state of spiritual separation from God. That's what that word perish means. That's what that word perish means. It means to be spiritually separated from God. But, but light, light uh, 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 gives spiritual knowledge. It gives spiritual regeneration. It gives, uh, uh, that's where we get that word from, to be born again. Amen? To be born again means to be spiritually renewed, spiritually renewed in your mind, spiritually renewed in your spirit, spiritually renewed in your body. Hallelujah. That's what the scripture means when it says, be not conformed, but be what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's what Jesus comes to do. He gives light through his word to renew your mind. 
to renew your spirit, uh, to renew your soul. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus said that I came to have to give you life yeah. and that more abundantly. Yeah. So, so as we look here then, notice what it says. It says, and the people uh, that walked in darkness, uh, they were uh, in darkness, they were in gross sin, uh, have seen a great light. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And that great light is Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, that they uh, and they that dwell in the shadow of death, upon them uh, uh, hath the light but shine. The revelation of Jesus Christ came and it, and it shined upon them. Amen. Uh, hold that particular verse and go with me over to uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 42. Hallelujah. Y'all bear with me. I feel like I'm rushing myself. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 42. Thank you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 42 and verse number 6. If you have it, say amen. Notice what it says, and this is, is further uh, prophecy about Jesus. And it says, I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness. Talking about his son, Jesus Christ. He was called in what? Righteousness. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And that word called there means that, that, that he had an appointment. Uh, hallelujah. He had a calling upon his life. He had an assignment. And we all know that Jesus had an assignment, right? Hallelujah. Notice, he said, I called thee in righteousness, and I will uphold thine hand. Amen? And I will keep thee. Hallelujah. And give thee for a covenant of the people. Uh, that's, that's what Jesus is, our covenant. Amen? Uh, for the people. Notice what he says. For a light of the Gentiles. And that word light there, means revelation. Uh, when you come to Jesus, your mind opens up. When you come to Jesus, you realize how wretched you were. <laughs> Hallelujah. You realize how precious he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, 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 and uh, 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 the people that, that, that don't receive the revelation of Jesus, he becomes to them a stone of stumbling. Uh, a rock of offense. And, but to us, he's precious. Yeah. Why? Because we, we understand that he's the Savior. Yeah. We understand that he is our deliverer. Yeah. Uh, we understand that we have peace with him. We have joy with him. Yeah. Amen. We have deliverance with him. Yeah. Hallelujah. The more you know about Jesus, the more joy you will receive. Yeah. The more you know about Jesus, the more peace you receive. Yeah. The stronger you will be. Amen. Hallelujah. So we see here then. Uh, he said he came for a light to the Gentiles. Notice verse uh, the 42. Isaiah 42 and 7. And notice his mission. To open uh, the blinded eyes. So that you no longer have to walk in darkness. Darkness represents sin. Amen. Represents death. Hallelujah. Jesus is all about light. Uh, to open the blinded eyes to bring out of prisoners from the prison. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what sin is. Sin, sin represents a prison. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and G, notice uh, in Isaiah, uh, it talks about in the book of Luke, Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, yeah. for he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the broken heart. To preach deliverance, notice, to the captives. And recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty uh, them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus sets us free from the prisons that are in our mind. Hallelujah. The, the, uh, 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 so with him, we can cast down. Uh, imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. What I realized, what I realized that 
through the anointing of Jesus, because we all have struggles, we all have problems, we all have issues, but through the anointing of Jesus Christ upon our lives, we can overcome our struggles, we can overcome our issues, and then we can bring down every stronghold through the anointing of Jesus, because that's what that anointing is for. Uh, Paul said his grace is sufficient. Uh, my, my strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why, that's why you ought to stay anointed. Uh, that's why you always should stay in the space. Uh, Lord, anoint me even the more. Hallelujah. Lord, I got some struggles. I got some issues. I got some problems. But I know that through that anointing, uh, every yoke can be destroyed. Uh, every 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 stronghold can be pulled down. Yeah. You know, sometimes we wrestle with ourselves. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. To do the will of God. Yeah. But if you just fall on your knees yeah. uh, and begin to cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, help me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Hallelujah. Because I want to do your will. Yeah. Uh, but I see something in me that's trying to bring me into captivity. Yeah. Uh, but Lord, I know that with your anointing. Hallelujah, you'll break this yoke. Yeah. Uh, with your anointing, you'll turn me from darkness to light. Uh, through your anointing, you'll give me some more information. You'll give me some more revelation so I'll be able to stand. Uh, so I'll be able to go through. Hallelujah, so I'll be able to endure. Hallelujah, Lord, just anoint me one more time. Hallelujah. That's what Samson said. Lord, just I know I allowed the Philistines to overtake me. Lord, I know I allowed, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, 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 what's Delilah? That's her. Amen. Lord, I ain't gonna forget Delilah. Uh, hallelujah. Lord, 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 I know I let Delilah uh, uh, trick me. Thank you, Lord. And they poked my eyes out. Uh, they tried to stop me from seeing. But, but Lord, you put something in me that I can see even through this, what they're trying to do. He said, Lord, just give me another chance. Uh, and, and the Lord re-anointed him. Hallelujah. His head grew back as the enemy slept. Hallelujah. While the enemy trying to do you harm, uh, your strength will go back. As the enemy trying to do you evil, your strength will grow back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, strengthen my mind. Hallelujah. Let it grow back. Hallelujah. And, when, and before they, uh, when they came upon Samson, they all gathered together to put him at sport. Hallelujah. God strengthened him. Amen. That's what the anointing will do. The anointing will strengthen you. Uh, and before your enemies. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn this into a preaching session, but I feel an anointing in this place. Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you, Lord. And that's what Jesus does. Thank you, Lord. Uh, verse 42 and 7. He opens the blinded eyes. Amen. To bring out the prisoners from the prison. Amen. Sometimes we get into prisons. Huh? But Jesus is the key. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's the door. <laughs> he's the way. Huh? He's the truth. Huh? And he's the light to, to, to set you free huh? from your prison. Hallelujah. From your, from, from your captivity. Uh, sometimes people want cap to captivate us. Uh, the enemy wants to captivate us. Sometimes we try to captivate ourselves. Huh? Hallelujah. But Jesus, if you call on the Lord, he'll set you free. Thank you, Lord. And that's why this prophecy is so great. Notice, he did this to them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. He'll bring them out that sit in darkness. Amen. He'll bring them out that sit in darkness. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Darkness represents sin. Because God is what? Light. And there's no what? Darkness in him at all. Hallelujah. That's why I, I, I love light. I turn on the lights wherever I go. Hallelujah. Thank you. Because I don't, I don't, I don't want to be in darkness. 
Hallelujah. I spent too long in darkness. Hallelujah. I spent 27 years in darkness. Hallelujah. So I want to send him the great light. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And that great light, it literally, I want y'all to, to catch this. The, the light that, that Jesus gives is, is scriptural wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. That's what that light is. Uh, he lightens your mind. Uh, he gives you understanding. He gives you wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what frees you. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what frees you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And you know, when you receive the light that's, that's in Jesus Christ, you become wise uh, unto salvation. You become wise uh, 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 about the devil's tactics, uh, the weapons of warfare. You become wise against the wiles of the devil. Amen. You can spot them coming. <laughs> Why? Because you're walking in the light. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And the enemy, he tried to pull you down, but, but because you're walking in the light, you can understand and see. And, and, and if, even if he does slip one up on you, because you're in the light, you know what to do. To repent. Amen. To turn. Amen. To call on the name of the Lord. Am I right? Hallelujah. All right. Let's, let's move on. Notice what it says. Verse number eight. He says, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. All right, let's move back over to Isaiah uh, chapter uh, number nine and verse number six. I mean, uh, verse, we, don't, we ain't down to verse number six. We, Isaiah chapter number nine. Uh, verse number three. Thank you, Pastor. I needed that. All right. Now notice what it says there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to take y'all to another verse of scripture in Isaiah, uh, Ma Matthew. I'm sorry. My bad. Matthew chapter number uh, four. Matthew chapter number four. Pastor Doug, will you read from me? Thank you, Jesus. Charles, Charles, can you come in for a second? Okay. No, we got, we got that. We need to go on this. Oh. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, four in verse 15. Matthew 4, 15. Yes. The land of Zabulon. Uh-huh. And the land of Nephilim, yes, by the way of the sea, yes, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people that which sat in darkness saw a great light, mm -hmm. and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Now, the the reason why uh, notice that that scripture uh, is quoted in the book of Matthew and. It was fulfilled by Jesus Christ. Um, as I said earlier, Naphtalim and uh, Zebulun, they were, they were tribes of Israel. And uh, read that verse again. The people which sat in darkness saw great light. Uh, now Jesus, he left Galilee and went to that region. And that's how that scripture was fulfilled. Jesus went to that region and he enlightened them. That's where Jesus did most of his teaching, did most of his preaching. Amen? And that's why it says they saw a great light. Amen? Read. And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Uh-huh. That was Jesus when he, when he came there. He left when he when he left his 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 mother and his father in Galilee, and he went to that region, and and he went there because there were more people there that he could affect. It was more people there that he could minister to. Amen. Read verse sixteen. 
The people which sat in darkness saw a great light. Uh -huh. And to them which sat in the region, yes. the shadow of death, light has sprung up. Mm -hmm. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. That was his message. That was the message of Jesus because he, he himself represented that light. And he began to preach repentance. Yes. Amen. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is nigh thee. Amen. All of and he was representing the kingdom of heaven. Amen. All right. Beautiful. Let's go back over uh, to Isaiah chapter number nine. I wanted to show you that Jesus was the fulfillment of that scripture. Amen. Uh, the prophecy. And uh, Isaiah 9 and 3. What does it say? Thou hast multiplied the nation uh -huh. and not increased the joy. Mm -hmm. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest. Yes. And as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. Amen. So what that scripture there is saying is that when Jesus comes on the scene, when this prophecy is being fulfilled, he's going to bring the people joy. Uh, that, as like we said, the year of jubilee, yeah. a time of rejoicing. Yeah. Anytime Jesus shows up in your life, it's a time of rejoicing. Amen. It's a time of jubilee. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. All right, read. Isaiah 9 and 4. Uh-huh. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden. Uh-huh. And the staff of his shoulder. Yes. The rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Median. Now, remember I said that God was literally giving the people hope. And, and when you're in a bad place, you need some hope. Amen? And the Assyrians, just to give you a history lesson, they were, some, they were a, a strong army that took no prisoners. They, they killed and then plummeted and they, they did horrible things. Amen? So for them, to uh, the children of Israel, for them to receive this word was a ray of sunshine because they knew that their God would not forsake them. And to give them some kind of courage and confidence, he mentions Midian here. And Midian, uh, that battle was fought in the book of Judges by Gideon. Mm -hmm. Gideon was outnumbered uh, by the Midianites. Yeah. Uh, Gideon uh, uh, was, was about to lose everything, but he trusted in God. Mm -hmm. and, and God visited Gideon and his small army and told them, do not fear, I am with thee. Have enough courage to go up and fight, yeah. and and Gideon he had he had a, a, a bunch of soldiers, and uh, God said, "You got too many." Uh, he was already outnumbered. Uh, he got something. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. He was already outnumbered, but God said, "You got too many." At least you said, uh, "You got yourself the victory." Yeah. Hallelujah. So. Gideon had to get rid of those that, that, that didn't lap like a dog uh, in, in the river. Hallelujah. And when it came time to fight, God didn't even let them go and fight. Hallelujah. God caused them to confuse the enemy by crushing water pots and blowing a trumpet. Yeah. Who can gain a victory over a war by crushing water pots and blowing a trumpet? God can. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He just told him to shout. Uh, the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. Uh, and when they shouted that, it confused the enemy and they were able to gain the victory. Amen. 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 So the reason why God told uh, uh, the Israelites that in this particular paragraph and in this particular statement is because of the overwhelmingness of the enemy upon them. But he wanted to remind them, just have faith. Mm -hmm. uh, just have hope. Yeah. Uh, uh, believe your God. It may seem like sometimes we're overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, that the enemy is overwhelming us. Yeah. Uh, from the left, from the right, 
Hallelujah. Sometimes it may feel like you don't know if you're coming or going. Yeah. Huh? But just have hope. Huh? Just have faith. Yeah. Huh? Just believe your God. Yeah. Amen. It yeah. reminds me of the book of Hebrews where it says we're surrounded huh, by a great cloud of witnesses. Amen. We're surrounded by people that got testimonies of the power of God. Hallelujah. Um, if, you, if you're struggling with your faith, go talk to one of the mothers of the church. If you're struggling with your faith, just talk to one of the members of the church that you see that is walking by faith and not by sight. Uh, go talk to the pastor. Amen. Go talk to the ministers. Amen. Just talk to a little child. I'm a little child to tell you to hold on. Uh, hallelujah. Just have faith. Amen. Believe in your God. And that's what uh, God wanted them to do. He wanted them to believe in him. Uh, to trust in him. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Doesn't matter what it feels like. Just trust in God. Uh, believe God. Amen. So as we move on. What verse we in? Uh, five. Read it. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise uh -huh. and garments rolled in blood. Yes. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. That confused noise represented what, what happened to uh, the Midianites. Amen. They crushed those water pots and that confused them. And they took their garments, this is what that's referring to, and burned them for fuel. Amen. Hallelujah. I read. For unto us a child is born, uh -huh. unto us a son is given, Yes. and the government shall be upon his shoulder, uh -huh. and his name shall be called Wonderful, yes. Counselor, yes. the Mighty God, yes. the Everlasting Father, yes. the Prince of Peace. Now notice here, thank you all, because this brings us to the crux of our Bible study. Uh, the scripture says, uh, unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. Yeah. Uh, our subject today is a child is born, mm -hmm. a son is given. Mm -hmm. And as we begin to, to look at this, uh, Isaiah chapter number six and I mean chapter number nine and verse number six. Notice it says, it says, for unto us. Yeah. Amen. Jesus was given unto us. Amen. God is concerned about us. Yeah. As the scripture says uh, in St. John 3.16, I'm getting more out of that uh, the more I read that scripture, the more I meditate on it. It says, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave. Mm -hmm. Notice that way it's put it. Uh, uh, that four represents God uh, in that upper verse, chapter 3.15, how he was going to give eternal life. Mm -hmm. So the thought is, is how are you going to bring about eternal life? Because he was going to bring about eternal life for God's soul love. Mm -hmm. And that and that word for, for uh, soul love means that God loved us so much. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like how you tell somebody you love, you say, oh, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. And that's what God is saying about us. Mm -hmm. I love you so much yeah. that I'm going to give you something. Wow. And that's something very precious. Yeah. Something very special. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you my only begotten son. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you believe on him, uh, you shall not be separated from me, mm -hmm. perish, but you shall have what? E everlasting life or eternal life. Yeah. Amen. Life is in Jesus. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Salvation is in Jesus. Yeah. Uh, there's no other name given in the heaven whereby men must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Yeah. So notice what he says. He says uh, uh, for, uh, for unto us a what? Child is born. A child is born. Now that, now that child uh, it's a prophecy about Jesus coming into the world as a baby. Mm -hmm. Amen? As a baby. Thank you, Lord. And, and we all know the story. He came as a baby uh, through Mary. 
thank you, Lord, the angel of Gabriel came to her and, and said that thou shalt have a son, and thou shalt call his name what? Jesus, and he shall save his people from what? Their sins. Amen. Mary said, well, how can these things be? That's a very intelligent question, isn't it? Huh? Huh? Uh, seeing I know not a man. Thank you, Lord. I'm not having relations. Thank you, Lord. And I'm not married. Huh? And, and he said that the Holy Ghost huh, shall overshadow thee. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that child that is born of thee shall be holy. Yeah. Amen. Meaning without sin. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Amen. Now, this isn't the first time that, that uh, Isaiah mentioned a child. Mm -hmm. So just go over uh, to Isaiah 7, 14 and 16. Y'all bear with me for a minute. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. Seven, Isaiah 7, 14 and 16. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Now notice, he shall give you a sign. This is the sign. Behold, uh -huh. a virgin shall conceive yeah. and bear a son yeah. and shall call his name Emmanuel. Uh -huh. Butter and honey shall he eat, yes. that he may know to refuse the evil uh -huh. and choose the good. Now notice, uh, notice, he said that this is going to be a sign. Yes. And we know that Mary had the baby. Yes. Am I right? Yes. And she was a virgin. Yes. Am I right? Yes. And, and he, that represented the sign. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. That he, she was going to bring forth a son mm -hmm. and call him Emmanuel, which is representative of God with us. Yes. Amen? Yes. The Bible says that God was in Christ. Yes. Amen? God was in Christ. Yes. Reconciling the world back unto himself. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. And, 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 and notice, read that, read that next verse, uh, uh, Butter and honey shall he eat. Uh huh. Now notice it says, Butter and honey shall he eat. That he may know to refuse the evil. Refuse the evil. And choose the good. Now notice, I want you to underline that in your Bible. Uh -huh. Refuse the evil and what? And choose, choose the, good. the good. That's what the Bible calls great exploits. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, uh, here it's talking about Jesus doing great exploits. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anytime that you refuse evil and choose good, you're doing great in the sight of God. Amen. Isn't that the whole crux? Isn't that the whole reason for your existence? Isn't that the whole reason of salvation yeah. and deliverance? Yeah. But you know, we ourselves, we need help. Yeah. <laughs> we need some help. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To do great exploits. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. And thank God Uh, he, the Bible says, he literally 
Am I right? Uh, though you have grief, though you have sorrow, doesn't give you a, a license to fall out of ranks, to sin, to give up, to throw in the towel. Because you got help. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we like to have a pity party, don't we? Hallelujah. Uh, sometimes we say, oh, what's the use? I might as well give up. I might as well throw in the towel. Amen. But, but that ain't the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's not the way of the Lord. No. Thank you, Jesus. That's not the way of the Lord. No. I, was, I was a young minister. Thank you, Lord. And I was taking this confession. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, the young lady, she shot the daylights out of me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And, 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 and basically, you know, she was struggling with her flesh. And um, uh, she said, well, you know, I was breaking up with him, and um, there was a bed there, and so, you know, I said, hey, what, what the heck? You know, we might as well go ahead and do it. Huh? Because it was a bad day. Amen? <laughs> That's foolishness. Amen? Hey, you know, why give up your salvation huh, for, for, for a foolish opportunity? Yeah. Amen? Amen? She should have chose the good. Huh? And refuse the evil. Yeah. Huh? She should have not listened to the devil, but listen to who? Jesus. Amen. Huh? Am I right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And sometimes that's what we do. Yeah. Huh? We get into situations yeah. huh? that seem to be bad, mm -hmm. that seem to be horrible, yeah. and instead of us turning our heart to the Lord, Amen. Huh? we give in to the situation. Uh -huh. huh? But God never wants you to give in to the situation. Uh -huh. Uh, he wants you to call on the name of the Lord. Yeah. That's why suicide is not uh, 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 in the Bible. Uh, if God never tells you to kill yourself, but he'll tell you to trust him. He'll tell you to put your confidence in him. He'll tell you to wait on him. Uh, he'll tell you to act a little shot. He'll tell you weeping may endure for a night, uh, but I'll send you some joy. Uh, hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah, my God. You follow what I'm saying? God is a God of help. Amen. 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 God wants you to do great exploits. Amen. Amen. Great. Somebody say great exploits. Great. Amen. And that's, and that's simply refusing the evil and doing the good. Amen. Uh, that's what God wants you to make that choice. Uh, hallelujah. And, he, and he's given you power yeah. to make that choice uh, through the Holy Ghost and through Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That double shot. That's why Jesus enlightens your mind. Yeah. Uh, when you start to read about Jesus, when you start to read about the scriptures, when you start praying about the scriptures, you start reading and praying about the word of God, and that word gets on the inside, it'll be just like fire. Uh, shut up in your bone. Uh, you tell the devil, get me behind me. Uh, live because I made Jesus my choice. Yes, I'm not. Hallelujah, my God. My God, I feel like teach preaching. Y'all forgive me here. Hallelujah. Because there's, there's something about uh, Jesus. All right, let's move on. Thank you, Lord. Now notice then. All right, what verse are you in? Six. Six. All right, read that again. Fifteen. Six. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Isaiah 9. Yes, yes. Let me calm down. Yeah, Isaiah 9. Verse 6. Yes. For unto us a child is born. All right, now notice. Unto us a child is born. Unto us and, a son now, is born. Hold on for a minute. Let me get this out real quick. Uh, unto us a child is born. Yeah. And there is representing the, the birth of a savior. Mm -hmm. uh, the birth of a deliverer. Yeah. Uh, that was going to be born of a virgin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. For what, what purpose? Thank you, Lord, for to, to save us. From our sins. Yes. To be that sacrifice. Mm -hmm. To be that lamb. Mm -hmm. God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you Lord. Alright. Unto us a son is born. Read. Unto us a son is given. Oh I'm sorry. Unto us a child is born. And unto us. What? A son is given. Now, now, that's, now that's different there. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is two prophecies in one. Mm -hmm. Here. When it talks about a son is given, 
He's talking about uh, literally a king is going to be given. And this king that is going to be given is going to rule a kingdom. Amen? And we are going to be a part of that kingdom. Amen? And, and, and Jesus is not only the sacrifice, but he's also the king of kings. Uh, and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. So, so, so uh, uh, the scripture goes on to say, it talks about uh, 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 Jesus, go on over to the book of uh, St. Luke. Amen. St. Luke chapter number 2 and uh, uh, verse uh, number 11. 11 and 12. Jesus is a descendant of David. Amen. He's a ruler. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He's a king. Mm -hmm. Read. For unto you is born this day uh -huh. in the city of David yeah. a Savior. A Savior. The city of David, a Savior. And that represents Jesus and his royal lineage. Amen. His, his, his royal lineage. His, his kingship. Amen. His authority. His rule. And the reason why I'm bringing that out is this. Is that we have to get it in our minds. Sometimes uh, uh, when, when the Bible says that ye shall receive power mm -hmm. after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yeah. That power represents authority. Mm -hmm. Amen? Uh, and that authority comes from Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, and when I receive him as my Lord and my Savior, I, I'm translated into the kingdom, the Bible says, of his dear son. Yeah. And now that I'm in the kingdom, amen, of Jesus Christ, I have to operate uh, as, as though I'm in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I have to operate under kingdom principles uh, to, 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 to initiate the kingdom power and authority. Um, Y'all follow what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. So, 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 kingdom principle is: if I'm lacking, I seek, I knock, I ask. Am I right? Huh? If kingdom principle is if, if 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 my enemy is coming up against me, thank you, Lord. I I rejoice. Huh? I be exceedingly glad huh? because great is my reward in heaven. Huh? Kingdom principle says. Uh, when you go going through your trials and your tribulation to count it all joy. Yeah. Amen. Kingdom principle is when the devil comes up against you, you bind him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You declare and decree over your situation. Yeah. Amen. Right. Kingdom principle says walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Yeah. Uh, so, so if I'm in the kingdom, I've got to operate under kingdom power and authority and principles. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't act like the world. No. Amen. I don't live like the world. No. Uh, thank you, Lord. I've abdicated from the world. Yeah. I've shunned the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. I've defected from the world. Uh, now I'm in a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Under authority. Yeah. Uh, under whose authority? Jesus Christ. Amen. If he's my Lord, that means I'm submitted unto him. Huh? And I carry out his principles. Amen. I live by his principles. Amen. Y'all with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. All right, read that verse again, Pastor. St. Luke, what does it say? For unto you is born this day in the city of David uh -huh. a Savior. A Savior. Which is Christ the Lord. Read. And this shall be a sign unto you. Uh -huh. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Yes. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying. Go ahead. The idea, but go ahead. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. And on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Amen. That, that, she, she got caught up. <laughs> huh? Amen. Nothing wrong with that. Amen. Even the angels rejoice. Amen. Amen. Glory to God where? To the highest. Peace and what? Goodwill 
toward who? All men. Hey, why? Because Jesus is born. Am I right? Thank you, Lord. So, so, so here we have, notice what it says. Let's go back to Isaiah, chapter number 9, amen, and verse number 6. It says, for unto us a what? A child is given. Uh, a child is a born. A child is born. Uh, and that represents uh, baby Jesus. Mm -hmm. But he ain't always going to be a baby. Uh, he going to grow up to be a son, yeah. uh, which represents his kingship. Amen? Which represents his authority. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. Notice what it says. Unto us a son is given. He's given to us. Yes. Amen? He's given to us. Amen? And as many as receive him yes. uh, that is given, to them will he give power yes. to also to become a son. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Yes. Thank you. You got to receive him. Oh, you got to receive his authority. Yes, sir. Amen. You got to receive his power. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to receive his kingdom. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, now that, that right there is, is huge. Mm -hmm. Because you remember in the scriptures, it tells us, don't cast your, uh, your pearls among the swine. Yeah. Amen. And people reject you. Uh, shake off the dust of your feet mm -hmm. uh, against them. You see, this thing here. God ain't forcing it on you. No. Uh, it's too good for it to be forced on you. Right. Uh, it's too powerful to be forced on you. Uh, you got to, you got to desire this thing. Yeah. Uh, you got to have a hunger and a thirst yeah. after righteousness. Yeah. And if you have that hunger and if you have that thirst, you shall be filled. Yeah. Filled with what? His glory. Yeah. Filled with His power. Filled with His anointing. Yeah. Filled with his word. Filled with uh, his authority. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Children that are connected to Jesus, huh? you should have the mindset that the devil can't do nothing with me. Huh? You should have the mindset that, that I got power, hallelujah, to, to tread upon serpents and to tread upon scorpions. And I got all power over the enemy. Hallelujah, my God. You got power to do great exploits. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. My God, that's why this thing is precious. Right. You know, that's why, that's why, if you think about God uh, in this respect, thank you, Lord, that, that God could take all the evil out of the world, uh, but he wants you to have a choice. Yeah. Amen? His choice is for you to choose that which is righteous. Yeah. Amen? That's the choice of God. But if you choose that which is evil, that's on you, and you got to pay the consequence for it. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah, my God. But if you choose that which is righteous, and you choose that which is holy, hallelujah, God will sustain you. Yeah. God will uphold you. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And that's what God wants. Yeah. Um, he wants you to make that choice. Yes. Hallelujah. I can't, I can't beat my wife into submission and make her love me. Uh, God, he don't want to beat you into submission and make you love him. That ain't love. That's fear. That's abuse. <laughs> Hallelujah. God, God ain't abusing you. Uh, but he wants you to choose. Uh, choose you this day. Who you're going to serve. Uh, and you got to make up in your mind every day, every minute, every hour, as for me and my house. Uh, we're going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all with me, saints? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right. Read. What's it say? Unto us, uh, a child is born. Unto us, a what? A son is given. Uh -huh. Now notice here. Read. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Now that's his kingdom. Amen. Anytime you read in the scriptures, and it's talking about a, a government, it's talking about shoulders, it's talking about a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And the kingdom shall be upon his shoulders. Read. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Uh-huh. Counselor. Yeah. The Mighty God. Yes. The Everlasting Father. Yes. The Prince of Peace. Yes. Notice what it says. That, that name is representative of his characteristics. Yes. Amen. Of who he is. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. His character mm -hmm. is wonderful. Amen? Yeah. 
His character is a counselor. Some scriptures put those two together. Wonderful counselor. It means the same thing. <laughs> because he is a wonderful counselor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, his character represents a mighty God. Hallelujah. Uh, his character represents uh, the what? Prince of Peace or the Everlasting Father. Yeah. That's in his character. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, he's the author as a father. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Yeah. Amen. As the Prince of Peace, he gives you a peace that passes all understanding. Amen. Amen. He is our peace offering. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, he, the scripture says he is our peace. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, I want to move on to this. Go to Isaiah 25, verse 1 and 4. Not 1 through 4, but 1 and 4. All right. Hallelujah. O oh Lord, oh Lord, thou art my God. Now notice, this, the, thou art my God. I will exalt thee. Uh huh. I will praise thy name. My God, read. For thou hast done wonderful things. Uh, now notice, notice, it's talking about Jesus. Huh? He has done what? Wonderful things. Wonderful things. Amen. You can look back over your life. Hallelujah. <laughs> look back where you are yeah. and what you used to be. Uh, you should say you've done a wonderful thing. Yes. Hallelujah. A wonderful thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turning you from darkness to light. That's a wonderful thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Read. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Now notice. Talking about he's a wonderful what? Counselor. And his counsel is what? Faithful. faithful. Amen. Uh, you can count and depend on the faithfulness of of Jesus and his word. Yes. Huh? They're not only faithful, but they're what? True. True. Amen. Jesus says, I am all that came before me with thieves and robbers. Yes. He said, I am the way, the what? Truth. The truth and the life. Huh? He said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The only grace and truth comes by who? Jesus Christ. If you want more anointing, it comes through Jesus. Amen. If you want truth, it comes through Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Read. For thou hast been a strength to the poor. Uh, now notice. No, my God. Uh, I feel like shouting right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How, how many of you know he said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Yeah. Uh, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Uh, he's been a strength to the poor. Amen. Hallelujah. When you were dead in your trespasses and sin, couldn't see no way, he's been your strength. Hallelujah. When you were bankrupt, uh, because you, you, you have gone through so many tests and so many trials. Hallelujah. You, you got, you got low graded in your spirit. Uh, he's been your strength. Uh, he's the one that has carried you through. Ahead, uh, glory. You didn't carry yourself. Uh, he's the one that's been your backbone. Yeah. He's the one that's been your provider. Yeah. He's the one that's been your way maker. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's the one that's been your very present help yeah. in your time of trouble. Oh, yeah. uh, you're not strong on your own behalf. Yeah. You're strong because he's strong. Yeah. Uh, he said, be strong in the Lord. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, be strong in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, he said, let the weak say I'm what? Strong. Amen. Read. What's it say? But thou hast been a strength to the poor, uh -huh. a strength to the needy in his distress, <laughs> a refuge from the storm, My God. a shadow from the heat, uh -huh. when the blast of the terrible ones is a, as a storm against the wall. Now, ain't that Jesus? That's him. Ain't that Jesus? Yes. Ain't that Jesus? Yes. That, that's that light that comes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Read that verse again, Pastor. For thou has been a strength to the poor. Now you've been, he's been strength to the poor. A, Read. a strength to the needy in his distress. He's, he's, he's your strength when you're needy. He's your strength when you're in distress. Read. A refuge from the storm. <laughs> Hallelujah. A man shall be as a hiding place. Yeah. A, a shelter in the time of the storm. Yeah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes, when 
when, when the enemy is pummeling you, when the enemy is trying to take you, hallelujah, at his own will, you can find a resting place in Jesus. Amen. What verse is that? Four. All right. That's verse four? Yes, sir. Is that all of it? Almost. All right, read. A shadow from the heat. Uh-huh. When the blast of the terrible ones is at the storm against the wall. My Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go over then. Thank you, Lord, to Matthew uh, chapter, chapter 8, 28. I'm sorry. Matthew chapter 28. I feel like I'm on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, calm me down. I'm now quit. Hallelujah. Chapter 8, 28, and verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, Now notice, this is him. Read. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Who has all power? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus has all power. Amen. Amen. And that all power has been given unto him. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. He received it from the Father and it's been given to him. Now he wants to give it to you. Yes. Unto us, a child, a, a son is given. Yes. Amen. Yes. Given unto us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We can have the same power that's in Christ Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now I want to say this. I want y'all to get this in your mind. Thank you, Lord. When you realize and get that relationship with Jesus, get him in, in, in understanding his ways and understanding his power and his authority and, and understanding his purpose, you can walk in that same kingdom authority, that same power, that same anointing, wherein the storms of life don't affect you. Amen? Though, though, though situations come upon you, your trust is in the Lord. Amen? Amen? You believe God. Mm -hmm. Amen? You trust in God. Yeah. I was, I was, uh, the situation came upon me, I don't even know what it was. And I had to act and react and do something. And I said to myself, I said, come on, Lord, let's go take care of this. Mm -hmm. and, and when I said it, I had to stop and laugh to myself. Like I'm calling him my friend, let's go get, let's go take, like, like I'm saying, come on, Jackie, let's go take care of this. Huh? Come on, come on, Doug, let's, let's, let's go take care of what we need to take care of. Amen? That's how, that's how my thought pattern was with Jesus. Amen? Uh, hallelujah. Like, come on, Lord, let's just go. Let's, let's take care of what we need to do. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Not, not a thought in my mind came that he wasn't with me. You follow me? That's how we got to be with the Lord. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord, that, that he is mine and you are his. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? That he's with you. Amen. That come on, shot. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Let's go take care of this. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah. Pastor Duck sing that song. Uh, come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and that's what it is. We got to call on the Lord yeah. and believe him. Amen. Trust him. Amen. Uh, he's with us. Amen. Emmanuel. Yes. Hallelujah. He's with us. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Hey, hallelujah. He walks with us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes. And, and notice, if he's walking with us, then all power and authority is with us. Amen. Amen. Why? Because he's there. Amen. Amen. Yes. Paul said we're seated together with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't we in heavenly places Amen. with him? Amen. Hallelujah. And, and if you get in trouble, you can come boldly to the throne of grace where he is. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We got to get that in our mind. Mm -hmm. If we get that in our mind, it would reduce anxiety. Mm -hmm. It would reduce fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. It would reduce the, the, the effect of the enemy in our lives. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. What's it say? Yeah. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, uh -huh. baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Read. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. Uh -huh. And lo, I am with you. Now, there it is. Now, notice. 
He said, I'm with you always. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to catch that. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. He's with you always. Yeah. Thank you. When you're up, he's with you. When you're down, he's with you. When you're sleeping, he's with you. Yeah. Amen. When the enemy is attacking you, he's with you. Yeah. When the enemy has left you alone, he's with you. Yeah. When you're broke, he's with you. Yeah. When you sit, he's with you. Yeah. When you well, he's with you. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Y'all got that? Yeah. Thank you. He's with you. Yeah. Who? Ha, and he said, I'm, he said he's the truth. Am mm -hmm. I right? Mm -hmm. So he's not lying, is he? No. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you just got to believe it. Amen. Amen. Uh, when you don't see him, he's with you. Amen. When you don't feel him, he's with you. Yes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We got we to gotta stop going by our feelings. Mm. <laughs> you follow me? Yeah. Thank you. It's, a, it's an immature person that goes uh, by their feelings. Yes. Amen? We got we to gotta get out of our feelings. Yes. Amen? And, and, and walk through knowledge, yes. the light. Mm. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. I, I don't feel him, but I know he's there. Uh, hey, Lord. Uh, why? Because he told me he was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you if you call on him, you'll feel his presence. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. Amen. All right, read. He says, I am with thee, with you. I am with you always, uh -huh. even unto the end of the world. He, he, now notice what he says. Even unto the end of the world. That Amen. means this world age. Yes. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. This dispensation. Yes. And notice the last word there. What does it say? Amen. It is so. Yes. Tell your neighbor, it is so. It is so. Oh, he's with me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, he's with me. Yes. Hallelujah. You've got to get that in your spirit. Amen. If you're going to wage warfare against the enemy, you got to know you got some back. That's right. Hallelujah. That you got to help. Yes. Amen. Yes. Notice then. Let's go over there. Uh, uh, to Daniel, uh, chapter number two. I got three more scriptures, then we'll be done. Man, we're going to get out of here on time. Daniel, chapter number two, and verse 44. My God. And in the days of these kings, uh -huh. shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. Now notice, in the days of these kings, meaning the days of these times, the God of heaven shall set up a kingdom. Amen. And that's what we're in. That's what it means a, a son is given. That son there is talking about a king. Amen. That's going to rule. Amen. Read. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom uh -huh. which shall never be destroyed. Now notice. His kingdom shall what? Never be never be destroyed. No matter what comes up against it, it shall never be destroyed. Amen? So if you're in this kingdom, then no matter what comes up against you, you shall never be destroyed. Amen? Uh, I'm, talking to, I'm talking to you tonight. Uh, you shall never be destroyed. Uh, don't fear what comes up against you. Uh, don't fear sudden fear. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, call on the Lord. Yeah. Uh, you got access to the kingdom. Yeah. Uh, you got access to all power. Mm -hmm. You got access to all authority. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not only are you saved, but you super saved with power. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, to do great exploits. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. that of shut. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Why? Because his kingdom shall not be overthrown. No. Uh, and those that are in his kingdom shall not be overtaken. No. Hallelujah. 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 You're in the city of safety. Yeah. Huh? Huh? You follow me? Yeah. You're in the city of healing. Yeah. You're in the city of refuge. Yeah. You're in the city of peace. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Come on, just give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When you leave here tonight, you should walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. When you leave here tonight, you should lay hands on some things and declare and decree some things. You should act out of those shop. You should rededicate yourself. Hallelujah. You should rejoice. Hallelujah. Why? Because
because you're in a kingdom that will endure forever. Hallelujah. That you got access. Hallelujah. To him that have all power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Realize this. Hallelujah. Uh, Blood-washed believers. Thank you, Lord. That, that, that the angels are subject to you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, my God. Realize that. Hallelujah, that the devil is subject to you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, that his enemies or his, his spirits, his imps, are subject to you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Do y'all believe that? Hallelujah, because I'm in the kingdom. And I'm operating under kingdom authority and kingdom power. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. What's that, Pastor? And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, uh -huh. but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, <laughs> and it shall stand forever. Now notice this. I want y'all to catch this. All right? The devil has a kingdom. Amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the devil got a kingdom, right? Yes. Read that last part again. The kingdom and shall the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Uh huh. But it shall break in pieces. Break in pieces. And consume all these kingdoms. All these other kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. Amen. The kingdom of Jesus Christ shall break and consume the kingdom of darkness. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it just got quiet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, right. it just got quiet. Okay, amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in you yeah. than he that is in the world. Amen. Uh, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. I feel like a, you know how you sometimes you give babies something to eat and you got a food feed and they don't want it and you got shoved in their mouth. <laughs> Y'all accept this. <laughs> that the devil's kingdom is going to be consumed. It's going to be destroyed. Amen. 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 So we are the winning team. Is that all that verse? Yes. All right. Go over to uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15. Y'all give me five more minutes. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you can't read my mind. No. <laughs> uh, verse 25. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. Now, who's that talking about? Jesus. Jesus. He must reign. Mm -hmm. We sing that song and I love it. He shall reign forever and ever. I wish I could sing. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. But, but, but he shall reign. Yes. That means to rule. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now, in, in the book of Isaiah, he was prophesied. Am I right? Now he's existing and he's reigning. Yes. Amen? Amen? You've got to allow him to rule over your life. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. read, read that again. He must reign. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. Now he's going to put all enemies under his feet. Mm -hmm. Amen? Read. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Is death. Amen? Death is the last enemy. That's the Remember, look at death as separation. Amen. The last thing that's going to be destroyed is death. Amen. But all other enemies, huh? Hallelujah. It's going to be put under his feet. Thank you for poverty, sickness, disease. All of the enemies that come against the kingdom of God. Read. What's it say? For he had put all things under his feet. Uh-huh. But when he said all things are put under him. It is manifest that he is accepted, uh -huh. which did put all things under him. All right, read. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, uh -huh. then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him, mm -hmm. that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. All right, Jesus came here with a call. He's came here with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Amen, I want you to catch this. To subdue all the enemies that attack you so that you... Can, can be saved so that you can be delivered. And when he's accomplished everything that he has set out to accomplish, he's going to offer us back up to the Father. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. My God. Y'all with me? Yes. 
Thank you, Jesus. My God. All right, what verse is that? All right, good. Just go over there. One more verse. Uh, Hebrews chapter number one. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, ch Hebrews chapter number one, and drop down to uh, verse number, read verse one. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, uh -huh. hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, uh -huh. whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Now notice, unto us a son is given. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's appointed heir over all things. He's, he, that, that we are part of his heirship. Yeah. He's, a, he's appointed over us. Amen. <laughs> he's our head, isn't he? Yeah. Hallelujah. All right, read. After these last days spoken unto us by his son, yes. he had appointed heir of all things, uh -huh. by whom also he made the worlds. Read. Who being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, yeah. and upholding all things by the word of his power, <laughs> when he had by himself purged our sins. Now notice, that's the child. Amen. He purged our sins. Mm -hmm. Read. Sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Kingship. King authority. Mm -hmm. Kingdom power. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read. Being made so much better than the angels, yes. as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than that. Now notice, what's his name? Wonderful. Counselor. Yes. Mighty God. Yes. Prince of Peace. Everlasting Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Uh, read. For unto which of the animals said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Yes. And again, I will be to him a father, uh -huh. and he shall be to me a son. It means that he's going to be walking in perfect obedience to his father. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Read. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, yes. he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. All right, let him worship my son. Read. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? Mm-hmm. But unto the Son, he said, Now here we go. Thy throne, O God. Thy throne. Jesus has a throne. Mm -hmm. uh, he rules and reigns by his throne. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. We, we are part of that throne. We sit in those heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Far above principalities. Yeah. Far above powers. Mm -hmm. Far above the enemy. Yeah. Amen? When you're walking with Jesus, you got authority over the enemy. Yeah. You got authority over the devil. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. That means you got authority over sickness and authority over disease and yeah. authority over poverty and yeah. authority over lack and authority over weakness. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Y'all with me? Thank you, Lord. And notice what he said. Uh, read. Uh huh. But unto the Son he said, Thy yeah. throne, O God, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. It's for how long? Forever and ever. I read. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of Thy kingdom. Now notice, if, if you're gonna reign with Jesus, you've got to walk in righteousness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't walk stoop footed. Huh? You can't. <laughs> you can't. You can't be walking around like a like a devil. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Uh, you got to operate in kingdom principles. Yeah. Amen? Amen? you got to walk in kingdom authority. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Amen. And kingdom principles is Matthew 5, 6, and 7. Yeah. Uh, that's how you got to operate. Mm -hmm. Amen? A lot of people don't have what they need. It's because they're not operating uh, according to God's economy, according to God's principles. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You can't go to the store uh, and, 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 and buy stuff with Canadian dollars. No. That's not their economy. They're going to reject it. You can't go and purchase what you need from Jesus by using the devil's goods. Huh? He said, give, give, give with Caesar unto Caesar, but give with God unto God. Amen? So you got to uh, operate under God's authority, under God's kingdom, yeah. under God's principles. Yeah. Amen? Oh, uh, yeah, that's because you're in his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Come on in, somebody. Amen. All right, read. Hey, shout out loud. 
Verse 9. Uh -huh. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Yes. Therefore, God, even uh, thy God. Even thy Now notice. He said, thy God, even thy God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Yeah. God even refers to his deity mm -hmm. uh, in Jesus Christ that did no sin. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. For you and I. That's why we worship him. And God don't trip out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we give him glory and honor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Be holy. Yeah. For I'm holy. Yeah. All right, read. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Now you have to come to that point. Great exploits. Mm -hmm. huh? Love righteousness. Yes. Be in love with righteousness. Mm -hmm. Hear, O Israel. Yes. The Lord thy God is one Lord. Mm -hmm. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart. Uh, with all your soul yes. and with all your mind. Uh, and Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. Amen. Uh, you got to love righteousness. Amen. And if, while you're loving righteousness, you got to do what? Hate it. Hate it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hate sin. Yes. Uh, hate iniquity. Because yes. if you don't hate it, you'll find yourself doing it. Amen. Uh, yeah. uh, if you don't hate it, you'll find yourself doing it. You don't do stuff you hate. Right. And, 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 and love can't abide in your heart except it be expressed. Mm -hmm. Hatred can't abide in your heart except it be expressed. Express. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Know, you understand this. You know a person's, uh, uh, how can I say it, inner environment by the way they act on the outside. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Know. I, I know what your inner is. By the way you act. Yeah. Huh? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you act at all greasy and, and, and nasty, yeah. huh? Thank you, Lord. I know your insides is messed up. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Come on in, somebody. Yeah. Huh? Then, now, if you walk in in love and power and authority, I know your insides are straight. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hallelujah. You act the way you are on the inside. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Is that the last verse of that? Uh, that didn't finish. All right, finish that up. We're done. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Uh -huh. Therefore, God, even thy God, ah. hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness ah. above thy fellows. Ah. Thank you. Come on, give God a praise. A child is born, our Savior. Yeah. A son is given, our King. Amen. The government shall be upon his shoulders. Amen. We certainly do thank God for this, this time that we've had here together. Thank God for this word. I hope you received something of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we want to thank God for our Facebook family that has uh, come online with us to be with us. Amen. If you received anything, just put it in the comment section for me to read later. I promise you I'll read it. Thank you, Lord. And also share this with other people. Thank you, Jesus. And if you have a desire to give, we have Tithely, and you can give online through our Tithely app, or you can send it in the mail, uh, 501 West 31st Street, Erie, PA, 16508, or you can drop it in our Dropbox. It's very secure. Uh, the angels is watching over it in the name of Jesus. All right. So uh, we certainly thank God.